Today, we're talking about five ways that you can wear a tie without a suit. What's up, all you good for the fly guys? You know who it is, the Cat in the Hatch resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michelangelo, stararchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to this lifestyle thing. And today, we're going to be talking about five ways that you can style a tie, this wonderful little accent piece, uh, to your ensemble without it being a suit. If you have been following us over the course of the last few weeks, then you know that we've uh, continued this series on ties. And I wanted to give you some insight into how to dress it down. So by the end of this video, you'll have access to five different characters, five different archetypes that you can use to figure out which style is going to be the best for you. Now, if you guys don't know me, I am a lifestyle coach, which essentially means that I want to help you tell your story in style. So if you find the information beneficial, please consider subscribing. I would love to be a character in your style story. If you have already subscribed, like Pedro Perez and Reese Racer, then you know I appreciate you. And now all you have is one more thing left to do, and that is hit that notification bell, and that way you will be notified each and every time new content comes out. So let's get into it. The five characters that you can use when you want to wear a tie, but you don't want to be in a suit. The first character that you should be looking at is the soldier. Now, have you ever noticed that the soldier is always having this very astute and very focused type of look? Well, if you're in a casual environment, but you still need to be a little focused, then the soldier is going to be a great character for you to embody. You don't have to be in the military if you want to pull this look off. But if you are, then we appreciate your service and we salute you as well. Now, all you have to do if you want to pull this look off is have a very pressed shirt and pair and pant combination and they don't have to match but if they are uniform that's not a bad look either you want to make sure that your tie is either a four in hand or an oriental knot then please check the link above and that will give you that video and the oriental knot stay tuned because that will be coming as well and all you have to do is roll up your sleeves make sure you have that right knot make sure everything is pressed and simply tuck your tie. This will give you a uniform type of look. We'll still have a casual formality to it and will create a bit of a conversation starter for why you have tucked your tie. The next character that you could potentially embody is the office guy. Now, some of you guys may remember the office and you should remember if you do John Krasinski's character, Jim Harper, who was a salesman for the company. Now, when he needed to be out and make sales, he had a suit on, but generally speaking, when he was around the office, he just had a shirt and tie combination with his trousers. Now, if you want to elevate the office type of look, just have a little bit more fun. Remember, you're probably in a casual work environment where, where you're probably not even required to wear a tie. This is the perfect time for you to play with patterns on your tie and patterns in your shirt. Then you can have a professional look while still being casual around the office. The next look is the prep. Now this isn't your daddy's prep. This is the new cool way of expressing smart casual attire. Now you can either pair your tie and your shirt with a varsity jacket if you want to be a little bit more sporty. You can pair it with a blazer and still keep things uh, traditional but maybe add some shorts as it comes in the summertime. Now I'm not really a huge fan of the short and jacket combination, but I have seen it executed well, so it's something to consider. Or you can add a rugby shirt to your shirt and tie and add a really casual, fun type of prep look to your overall aesthetic. And even one of these cases, you're still going to show up and look smart in casual settings. The next character is the blue collar cat. Now, if you're a guy who just really loves the man's man type of look, but you don't want to be totally in a casual space in the t-shirt and sneakers, then you can add a shirt and tie to a nice denim look. You can get a nice five pocket denim jacket and pair it with a great pair of five, potentially five pocket denim jeans. And they don't have to be the same exact type of denim. They can be mixed and matched and it can still create a sophisticated look. But if you want to be a little bit more uniform, then you can pair those together. Now, simply by adding a shirt and tie and maybe even a pocket square, you've actually created a workman suit and it will let people know that you're a hardworking individual and you don't mind getting a little rough and rugged, but you still can do so in a sophisticated way. 
The last character that you can be is the rebel with a cause. Now, some of you guys may not know about the old school movie, The Rebel Without a Cause, but this was a guy who was kind of bucking the system, and that's kind of what a rebel is always trying to do. When everybody else is going left, you're going right, and vice versa. And so when you are thinking about those different types of spaces, then maybe you just want to be a little rebellious, and you throw on a nice moto jacket or Harley Davidson jacket with your shirt and tie. I've seen this executed extremely well uh, on men as well as women. And this is a great way for you to push back when you need to rebel, when you need to have a little bit of a bad boy image in a sophisticated way. And the look here will always speak to an undertone of something a little bit more fun and sinister when we're being a little bit more mischievous, even if you need to be in a casual type of work environment. And above all, the jacket, if it is designed well, is sure to start a conversation there. So those are the five characters essentially that you could be if you are looking to wear a tie in a casual environment. Leave me some comments in the comment box with this question of the day. What character would you embody and what would you want to say with the character that I mentioned. Make sure that you give this a thumbs up and share this with a friend. You never know who may be looking to switch up their style, but still want to remain a little formal in the office this spring and this summer. And above all, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you should always dress to express. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.